I promise, one of your favorite parts of RevealBot will be automated rule logs. With rule logs, you can see a log entry of every time one of your activated rules checked to see if it should fire or not. It will show you what items were checked, what items were affected, and if any errors occurred. And when you need to take a closer look, you can open up the details and see exactly why a specific item did or didn't fire how you expected it to. Let's have a look. Inside the automated rules homepage of any of the ad platforms, you can hover over a rule and a logs button will appear. Click it to see all the log entries for that rule. You can filter the log entries by the log event. By default, it will show all checkings. You can filter log entries to see only the ones that triggered an automated rule to fire, only errors or both. You can also filter by time. It defaults to all time, sorted by most recent first to oldest, but you can change the time frame to a specific day to help you find exactly what you're looking for. Each log entry has a time, the number of applied items, affected items, and errors. The time shows the date and time of when the automated rule checked the items it's set to be applied to against its conditions. Remember, the frequency of the rule checking is typically set in the schedule section of the automated rule. The applied items is a count of how many items were checked by the rule. If you're using the selection filter type, this number could change over time depending on whether new or existing items meet the selection criteria. Affected items is a count of how many items the rule actually affected. If this number is more than zero, it means this rule fired and applied to that number of items. Highlight over a log entry and a details button will appear. Click it and you'll get the full details of the log entry. Again, you can filter at the top to show all items, affected items only, or errors only. This is helpful when your rule is applying to a lot of items at once. And below, you'll see a detailed log entry of every item the automated rule is set to be applied to at the time of checking. Under the item column, you'll see the name of the affected item and its ID. Under metrics, you'll see the relevant metrics that are used in the rule's conditions and the value of those metrics at the time of the checking. Hovering over the items log will show you the conditions so you can see exactly why the rule affected this item or not. And finally, under actions, you'll see the action the rule took and the value or status before and after the rule fired if that item was affected. Here's another hint. If you're trying to diagnose something on a specific item, instead of clicking back and forth between log entries, you can simply click the item's ID and see all the log entries for just that item in one view. Alternatively, if you have a specific ad, ad set, or campaign you want to diagnose, you can take the item's ID and search the logs for any rules that did or should have affected it. From the automated rules homepage, click search log in the top right. And here you can paste in the item's ID. Then you'll see all the rules that are set to be applied to your item, and you'll be able to see all the rule checkings for that item and the outcome. As you can see, rule logs make it simple to clearly see exactly why your rules did or did not fire. I recommend checking your rule logs frequently to make sure your rules are firing exactly how you want them to.